Good morning, good morning everyone. My name is Clay Sampson. I'm going to be interviewing the CEO and co-founders. There are two co-founders, but I'll be interviewing one of the co-founders today. Um, so D Darren O'Lyon and Richard Smith will be interviewed today in about uh, two minutes. So they should be popping on shortly. I have a list of questions here I would like to ask them. I would appreciate everyone being on our live this morning. Let me say welcome to a few people I see. Good morning, Dale. Good morning, Tara. Good morning, Don Don. Charles, good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. So they should be popping on here. Good morning, Michael. Um, they should be popping on here. Um, if you guys can do me a favor, if you'd like to invite any of your friends or team members or family members to this interview, that'll be greatly appreciated. If um, you see a comment that you like or hear something that you like, if you can make a comment and um, hit a like sign or hearts or whatever you like to, that'll be greatly appreciated. I thank everyone so much for being on this um, interview call this morning. I have my list of questions here, so um, we're ready to go. I'm waiting for um, Darren and um, Richard to pop on. Once I see them on, I will um, add them and we'll get started here. We're about a minute away. And uh, let's see, good morning, Tim. Okay, so let's um, wait for about a minute before we get started, and we're going to get us going here shortly. So I appreciate everyone being on. Good morning. Good morning, world. Good morning, Daryl. Okay, so just a couple more minutes here, Let's or a minute or so here. Let's get started. I'm waiting for them to pop on. Good morning. Good morning, Daryl. How are you? So very, very excited about this this morning, and again, I have my list of, of questions here. Okay, it looks like we're going to start off as soon as Darren pops on. We're going to start off with Darren. I know there are so many of you guys I have to scroll through, so bear with me here a second. Let me make sure Darren is on. I see Richard on. Hello, Richard. Welcome. So we're just waiting for Darren, and once Darren pops on, we will go. We will start the questioning. Good morning, Michael. Okay, just waiting here shortly. Let's see. Let me give him a quick reminder. We are live. Okay, just waiting for Darren to come on. And um, I already see Richard. Yep, there's Darren. Perfect. So let's go ahead and add Darren. Okay, good morning. There you are. Good morning, Darren. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing great. How about you? It looks like you've been out at the gym this morning getting your, getting, getting that exercise in. <laughs> just, yeah, brother, I just ran out of the gym. So how are you doing this morning? I'm on top of the roll. Thank you for asking. We appreciate you doing this. I know Rich is also on. And um, this morning, uh, on? yes, Rich is on also. He's not going to see us yet. I'm going to, I have a total of 10 questions to ask, and um, I'm going to bring Richard on at the end. And if there's a, a question that you would like to pop in, or you guys can go back and forth, I just need to, you just need to add yourself so we can see his face because three of us can't be on at the same time, but two can be on. Oh, so okay. if you don't mind, I'm going to jump Bro, right I... into it, if that's okay with you. Okay. Okay, great. All right. I just so, want to say good morning. Good morning to everyone first because, uh, I know the way you work, Clayton. This video is going to be shared a lot down the road, huh? Yes, it will. So this will be this will go viral very quickly. Trust me. So get ready for that, and All thank right. you very, very much. Okay. So my first question: So who is Darren Lyon? So I would like like the world to know who is Darren Lyon. Who are you, bro? I'm just uh, I'm just a guy trying to help other people. That's what it comes down to. Uh, I come from a family of eleven kids. My dad's from Hawaii. My mom's a California girl. Actually, she was raised in Texas. So put a Hawaiian and a Texan together, and you end up raised in California. That's where I grew up. And uh, I was taught the Hawaiian ways, and I was taught this culture of the Aloha spirit, and a word named uh, a word called kakua. Kakua was a terrible word when I was a kid, Clayton. Every time my dad said the word kakua, that means all eleven of us kids had to go help someone. We literally had to help people move or feed them. Or I remember one time I came home from school and there were four people. Now get this, okay? 11 kids, two adults, 
three bedroom house. I came home from school once and there was a family of four with a bed in our living room, a blind couple. And I was scratching my head going, what the heck? And my dad said, hey, Kakua, meaning we had to give of what we had because we actually wow. had room and they didn't have a place to stay. Kakua means to help, to give without any intention of receiving back. In the Hawaiian culture, oh, I don't have it in this car. I have it in my other truck. Um, there's there's the, a hook. And all the royalty, the elite, the chiefs would wear this hook. And I'll, let's see if I can do it this way. It means to go and it's a hook. But whatever you go and give out to everyone, somehow, some way, it always comes back. So I was raised, Clayton, when you ask who Darren is, I was raised on this Hawaiian culture of the Aloha spirit to always love and give and Kakua to always give without any, you know, intent of receiving back. Now I'll add in there a little bit more detail, but I ended up going to law school, business school. I've been very blessed. I've also got my butt kicked. I've had, uh, I've had some good businesses and some bad ones. But the funny thing is, even when I have all the money in the bank that I need or none, I always end up doing the same thing. My specialty is helping people become successful financially. Now, I say financially because that's just the tip of the iceberg. When someone can breathe, they can then live their purpose and passion. And, and that's what I have found uh, in my life. There is nothing that drives me more, Clayton, than helping people. That's me. That's awesome. That's perfect. I have a beautiful family too. I got a beautiful wife and family that that love the uh, love me and support me like you can't believe. And without my wife, I wouldn't be me, bro. Okay, great. Well, that's awesome. I know you also have two co-founders, and we're going to hear from Richard Smith a little bit also to about them. But you have a third co-founder um, co named Troy. Can you tell us a little bit about um, your 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 other partner? Troy Mulestein. He is. Uh, he and uh, Richard came up with this idea like nine or maybe now it's 10 years ago uh, of helping people become debt free. And I ran across their path. Let's see here, probably about seven years ago, it might be eight now, but I ran across their path with this vision of helping people come become debt free. I still remember Troy looked me in the face and said, I'm going to help every single person in America become debt free. And I just laughed at him like, there's no way, no how. Well, three months later, I actually fell in love with the vision. Now, to help every person become debt free, themselves. Uh oh. This, yeah, Troy painted this picture, and and that's that's him. Now he's a very straightforward person. He has been Richard's partner about three years before I ran across both those guys, but uh, his career was. 20 plus years working in in the manufacturing he rose all the way to the top turned his manufacturing plant to be the become the number one income producing plant in the i think in the world but i know for sure the u.s and then one day they got bought and he was fired just like that his entire life his entire career one place one job and uh it was that moment in his life that he became passionate about helping people become free and, and, and set so that no one, it, it's up to that person to become financially free and not have to worry about the outside, you know, fears of the world of getting fired or, or just whatever. He, he, he became lit up with this passion of helping people at that moment. And that's, that's where this whole thing started. That's awesome. Okay, a couple of years ago, you started a, uh, you had part of the company called Divi. Can you tell us a little bit yeah. about them and why the name changed to New E Social? Really simple. Um, Divi, we started off with a concept and an idea. The idea was uh, we came up with a program called Rank and Share, and we had everything set up to work for about 2,000 people. Uh, in October of six, October 16th, Richard Troy and I launched that thing with the goal of 2,000 people in 90 days. So January, you know, we wanted to have 90 people. We ended up with, let me see if I can figure this You're going a little bit in and out. I'm not sure if while, while you're traveling, if you're getting a, a bad signal. Oh, let me see. I might have accidentally connected to my Wi-Fi. So let me run in real quick. Okay. <laughs> a man in the Sorry, move. Bro. We like it. That's okay. A man in the move.
Oh, you're frozen a little bit, but okay, there you go. You're back. Okay. Hey. All right. Is it, is it a good connection now? Good connection now, yep. Okay. I was outside in my driveway, and so the Wi-Fi must have taken it partially. Okay. Um, where were we? Divi. Okay, so our goal was to help 2,000 people. That was our goal in 90 days. January 7th, we had to shut it down because we had 200 and 43,000 affiliates. We ran out of inventory. We broke the system. Uh, the back office broke. Clayton, everything you can think of went wrong because we only planned on 2,000. We had a max of 10,000, and we hit 243,000. So, wow. of course, you know, everything went haywire. Now, we spent all of 2017 fixing it, getting a back office, coming up with a program that worked, coming up with all the different systems, and the marketing tools and putting the um, human capital, I call it, but bringing all the right people in to make this thing work the way we wanted and to, and to build the culture. Awesome. So awesome. that's why. Okay. And then one last thing. When we realized and started to fix everything, we wanted to change the name and the image to take it even to a bigger, a bigger purpose of helping more people. Our idea at Divi was awesome. It was exciting, but we realized we were thinking way too small. And when we came up with the new name of Nui, it means to be bigger, greater, and grander. Now, once again, back to the Hawaiian culture, it's not just a translation, Clayton, but it's more of a from the heart and the spirit to be a better person, to be a better community, to be a better company. Awesome. That's awesome. Okay. You took on the largest law firm in the country, Jones Day. Can you tell us why yeah. make that decision and why spend that much money? Easy, easy answer, Clayton. Are you having a good day, brother? I'm having an amazing day. <laughs> we get to help a million I, uh, people. Uh, <laughs> I always like doing uh, talks and conference calls with you. Hey, um, Jones Day, simple answer. If we were going to jump in the crypto space now, understand the owners of Mintage Mining have been in it since day one, since 2009, even, e even in the very beginnings. Um, but if Nui was going to jump in, our number one focus was we're going to be here for a long time. We've already broken every single thing we touched because of massive conversion and bigger numbers than we expected. So if we were going to do this, we wanted to be around for the decades. Jones Day has two uh, attorneys. Everyone can Google this, but there's two partners there that have been leading the way in crypto legislation. And so um, Mark Rasmussen is one of the lead attorneys out of, out of the Dallas office. We specifically, the more we got into this, the more, yeah, I'm on camera, I'm being recorded. So the more <laughs> fraud, <laughs> the more fraud we saw. It's, it's amazing. Um, and it's unfortunate at the same time. When there's no regulation, Clayton, you will see, dude, people come in there and they just steal from people. They, they go off their emotions, they, they sell them, and people trust, and they put their millions of dollars in there, and all of a sudden it's stolen and gone. Well, we wanted to be the one of the few companies that stood the, what's coming down the pipe. We know, and we are begging, and we are excited for regulation. SEC, FinCEN, Treasury, FTC, all these guys, someone has got to step up and come in here and clean up this industry. And because it's, it's awesome. The profit, I mean, the, the results are phenomenal. Um, and where blockchain's going will change the entire world. I am 100% convinced of that. So Jones Day, because they were the leading law firm, not only in the U.S., but worldwide. And, uh, and if you Google them, uh, you can see the relationship with these, you know, alphabet government agencies. If you Google them, you'll notice that some of these government agencies have been referring to Jones Day, referring to Mark Rasmussen as getting and hiring and retaining guidance, just as we have. So Jones Day, they are our law firm. We keep them on retainer. We were even deeper, uh, meaning they've been personally advising us along this whole way. They've helped us set up the, the legal structure so that we can withstand everything that's coming down the pipe. And then the one last thing I want to add to this. If you hear a company say, hey, we are SEC compliant, guys, it does not exist, okay? The SEC hasn't given us regulation yet. They're still trying to define what a security is. They're still going down that road. But we will say this for a fact. 
we are we want to be compliant when the compliance comes so we're working with the people the law firms the agencies that are creating the compliance that's what's exciting that's awesome okay i visited your very very and i use the word very large corporate office last a couple of weeks ago and noticed a culture that was very refreshing i saw a lot of um, what looked like um, to be brainstorming meetings, a lot of meetings gathering, a lot of your employees. Can you speak a little bit on that? Yeah. Clayton, if we're going to have a go-giver uh, culture. Now, when I say go-giver, that's, that's a book that we, we – it's the Kakua, okay, in Hawaiian that I was explaining about Kakua, about paying it forward, helping others, real, and, and with real intent, okay? Not just the words and not just – but living it. If we're going to create this culture and say, hey, affiliates, members, this is what we're going to do, brother, it's got to start internally. If we don't have it from me, if we don't have it from Richard, if we don't have it from Troy, if we don't have it from Kinsey, if we don't have it from Reed, all the execs, mid-level management, entry level, if our company is not living it internally, how is it that we can preach and teach and say walk the walk but not not do it? Absolutely. How, how is it that... How is it that I can sit, sit here on this camera, you know, on this conference call and say, hey, Clayton, we're going to have a pay it forward culture, the go giver. That is why um, it's taken us. Uh, it's taken us a while. Creating cultures is not easy, but we have been up and down through all the ringers there for for 12 months. And it gives me satisfaction when when Clayton, when you walk in the office and you feel it. When you feel that we really care, we're not perfect. You know that. <laughs> we're not perfect. We're, we're, we're a startup. We're a really big startup. But there's, there's always going to be challenges. We have a solution, you know, you know, figure it out type of culture. But it's a go-giver culture where we're always paying it forward. That perfect. is why you felt what you felt. Because we want every single person that walks in our office to feel that. Absolutely. Can you talk, talk a little, you just mentioned the Go Giver a couple of times. Can you talk a little bit about what the Go Giver is and what that book's all about? What I would encourage every single person on this call and those that see the video later, it is probably one of my top five books in business and in life that I, I refer out, the Go Giver. Um, I, want, I want people, I'm not going to really talk about it, actually. <laughs> the story is so good. And in business, sometimes, you know, okay, guys, I went to law school. I went to business school. I've, I've worked with investors for 18 years worldwide. I've had offices in Asia, in Central America, in South America, in the U.S. I've been through all kinds of business training, okay? I was even on a uh, – I was a partner in an equity firm for five years where I vetted out businesses, 20 to 50 businesses a week. I've been through all kinds of business training and what the go-giver teach taught taught me and teaches me is the real secrets to life. If you really want to have success in business, in life, in relationships with our supreme being or whatever, um, I think it's based on some very fundamental characteristics and and morals, and you find it in that book. So hopefully that's a good enough of a teaser that's, that's that everyone perfect. goes and gets it. <laughs> okay. Well, mo most of us know that crypto space started off in the wild, wild west, and there have been a couple yep. of players that has really hurt people. What are your feelings about that, and why is Nui different? So what are my feelings about those that hurt? Yep, and then the why, why is Nui going to be different? You kind of touched a little bit on, on Jones Day, but I wanted to ask the question directly anyway. Yeah, yeah. Clayton, um, Whenever there's huge opportunities, everyone runs to it, right? Always. And usually the more solid companies are a little bit slower to move because it's so undefined and risky. And most of those more solid companies have people to answer to, meaning their stockholders and their company and their members. Um, yet on the other hand, when there's opportunity and no regulation, everyone runs there as fast as they can to score. It's a gold rush. That's what it is. It's a gold rush. Well, um, the companies that have gone on before and hurt people, um, at first we were frustrated, but honestly what it's done is lit a fire under agencies like the SEC, okay? Um, and so uh, <laughs> we had some very negative press published about us, 
And uh, at first I was frustrated saying, man, we've spent all this money. We've done everything right. We've done it, set it up according to, you know, legally to stand the, the test of time. But then something happened that I didn't think was going to happen. It fired up the owners of Mintage Mining like you can't believe. They are working on stuff behind the scenes that they were building some blockchain technologies that take 12 months, 18 months, 24 months. Mm -hmm. And when the negative press and when all these companies started going down, it lit up a passion in, in the owners of Mintage Mining that I haven't seen. And it cracks me up because they're working on some stuff here that, that they already filed patents on. Um, but it brings even more transparency to this crypto world. And, and I, I couldn't have asked for a better thing. So with all the negative things happening, number one, it's bringing in regulation. That does nothing but protect the client or the consumer. So I love that. Number two, it's given even more passion and fire for our partners to work faster at bringing clarity and visibility to an undefined and very cryptic industry. So, so for me, it's really, really good. Unfortunately, and then this is the sad part, Clayton, I hate when I see people lose. It sucks. It, it's hard, especially when it's hard-earned money or retirement or, hey, I got my family all into this and all of a sudden it's gone. Those are the things that are sad stories. And all it does for me is want to open up my arms and say, hey, we might not give you one, two, three, five percent a day, right? Because that's what everyone was promising. <laughs> you can get two percent a day. That's not us. What I would say is we're doing everything right. We're being transparent. The industry is phenomenal. And we're going to be here for a long, long time and help millions of people. That is awesome. Actually, that, that's perfect. That leads into my, my eighth question. Um, the company's goal is to help a million people make $500 a month and 10,000 people become millionaires. Do you have an infrastructure to make that happen? Okay. I've been in business for a long time. I've worked with investors. I've done startups. I've done M&A. I've, I've been on all sides of, of business. And one of the things I've learned is, Clayton, the most important thing is to have a vision and a purpose and a passion as to what the end goal is. The how in startups is always interesting because it's always being redefined depending on what the landscape is. So the how changes. Sometimes, like when we started off this Divi thing, oh my gosh, we ran, out of in, we ran out of inventory so fast. We had a model. We had a business plan to help a million people. Things happen in startup businesses. With this whole crypto movement, our plan to help a million people has never be, been more defined. Um, we are. We're going to provide the tools to the biggest gold rush in the history of time. We're going to provide the picks, the axes, but even more important is the railroads. We are building the railroads. So when you say help a million people, that is our vision, that's our purpose, that's everything I stand for. I, um, I've tried this for years, Clayton, um, helping people. I have a lot of good stories, I can tell you. I've been able to help a lot of people become extremely financially successful. But there's one interesting thing I learned, and that is if you can help someone make $500, not a million, okay? I'm not, you don't, you don't, I, I, I barely, I barely started telling people, hey, guess what? We're going to help 10,000 people become millionaires because the leaders, that's why they're doing it. But if you understand that you're trying to help the little guy, that single mom, that Guatemalan that's trying to come up, that Filipino, that, that, that mom in Japan that wants to spend two hours with their kids a day. If you understand that you focus a company on the little person and help them make $500, Bro, you have a company that will stand forever. And that's why it has never been more clear in our mind as owners, as, as a company, the direction that we're going on how we can now help a million people make $500 a month. That's what we're going to be sharing in detail over the next two weeks or so. I, I just sat with marketing yesterday for two hours about how transparent we're going to be, and you're going to start to see all kinds of marketing come out of exactly the how has been defined. That is awesome. Awesome stuff. I have goosebumps hearing you speak. Okay, we're learning. Um, we're all learning and feeling more and more comfortable in crypto as, it, as the crypto spaces goes. Can you explain what symmetry and how does it work with core and reach? 
Okay. Symmetry is very simple. Um, as we were going through trying to put this whole thing together, I'm sure you know this, Clayton. How many, how many businesses want to go sign a contract with an MLM? Yeah, exactly. How many? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Everyone, especially, let's talk about crypto. How many mining companies, like, who, how many Genesis Mining or, or hash players want to go sign a contract with an MLM now? Right? right? Zero. <laughs> right. So, so what happens is, is, you know, real businesses are very hesitant to work with an MLM. Because, you know, affiliates sometimes, uh, what do we say, uh, you know, uh, enhance, embellish, you know, go way beyond what they're supposed to say. Um, it happens all the time. And it's because people are excited and passionate. So um, symmetry was set up for a specific reason. It's the B2B business that holds the deals and holds the, all the businesses that want to work with us. It holds the contracts and holds the products and the compensation. So symmetry is an entity that is set up to hold the deals, the B2B play. Core is the platform where people can do activities to earn. Man, we have some stuff that we're sharing this week that's going to get exciting about that. But we've shared so much about it already. Simple activities that people can do to earn. If you don't have you know, $500 to go put into a mining con uh, service agreement, then you can go do activities and make, you know, five, two bucks, five bucks, 10 bucks a day, whatever. Um, that's what core is. So core provides the ability for someone to do free activities to earn. Our redemption center reach is the spot or the redemption center where someone can cash it in. Uh, very simple. I earn points or I earn our crypto cala, then I have a place that I can redeem it. The number one issue in the crypto world is where do I redeem my coin? You have to go to an exchange and sell it and you can cash out. But what if I don't want it? What if I just want to buy uh, a refrigerator or buy a computer or an iPhone or a Samsung? That's the number one question and problem for cryptos. So we have Core, uh, uh, the, the platform where you can earn it. We have the points or we have the crypto that you earn. And we have Reach, which is the redemption center. Now... That's the B2B play. Nui is the, R, is the MLM, the network marketing arm. It's the exclusive marketing arm to Symmetry. And, and, and some, you know, Derek, I want to give you a shout out. You say, well thought, thought out plan. Well, Derek, we didn't really, we thought we knew. <laughs> we screwed it up a couple times, which is why we had Divi and all of this. It, it was through trial and error. And it was through some deep, you know, uh, I'm thinking in Spanish all of a sudden, deep consultation from our attorneys to set this up the right way so it stands the test of time. But it, it, it did take us a little while. And, yes, I agree with you. It is a well-thought-out plan now, but it was from trial and error. <laughs> so let's okay. just be honest. <laughs> well, that, that's great. Well, I only have two more questions for you before I bring Richard on. But um, now let's talk about – I'm going to take a drink. Yeah, no problem. Let's talk about Kala. About this, and that's what I'm excited mostly about is the call of coin. So um, we talked about um, about core and symmetry. So can you talk a little bit about Kala? Kala, Kala is the biggest secret we have in the company, bro. Oh um, yeah. <laughs> I was um, I was promoting it really heavy, uh, and then we sold out our first round at one cent in four hours and I realized holy cow there's a couple people that really got the vision and then we had a game plan that's been modified a little bit because um, how do I okay I'm being recorded bro so I gotta make sure that's I okay. say it. that's what I can <laughs> that's okay <laughs> um, we were work what well, we are I was gonna say we had a meeting a couple of months ago, and it really became solidified probably about five weeks ago. We're talking to one of the top ten exchanges. I'm on a call. So I got I got nine kids. So <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, everyone. It's early, early in Utah. We appreciate, well, first of all, we appreciate you taking your Saturday to do this for us. I know your family is very important to you. Yeah, no, no worries. About five weeks ago, we were on a conference call for three hours with one of the executives and owners of an exchange, it's the top 10 exchange that we're going to work with. Um, we were talking about the strategy on when to roll Kala out to the exchange. 
And they laid a plan out to us, to uh, Dave Childs, the owner of Mintage and me. We were sitting there scratching our head, you know, and then, and then we talked to the board, you know, Richard and Troy and all the, everyone on the board, we, we reviewed this. And the plan was so simple. Um, Clayton, they gave us a plan that just like is mathematically proven. And once Mintage hurt, hits a certain volume of uh, service agreements that's going through there each month, when Kala comes out, we've decided to hold it back a little bit um, because when Kala comes out on the exchange, we know the exact numbers we need in order to hit a top 20 coin in volume in the world. So Kala, Kala is the biggest secret of this company. Yesterday, I had a group that came in from international. We had, we had, we had, I'll just say they came from Asia. Okay. Six different leaders flew in. I had another leader from Spain. The number one question is, where's Kala? What's the value going to be by December 30th, 2018? Is it going to be 10 bucks? Is it going to be a hundred bucks? Is it going to be 50 cents? I, I won't answer that. What I will tell you is this. I know for a fact that when we bring it out to the exchange, we will be a top 20 volume coin in the world. And if we roll it out at two cents or five cents or 10 cents, what would happen if your coin is a top 20 coin in the world? What will happen to the value? That I'll leave to you guys. For me, Clayton, you already know this. We've had a lot of private conversations. But for me, that is the biggest secret play. And when I say 10,000 millionaires, a lot of people might think it's because of the compensation plan, and they might think it's because of the mining or because they have massive teams. It's not that. That is another way we'll help you. It's actually through Kala that we're going to help a lot of people become generationally wealthy. Okay. Well, I know the family is waiting for you, so my last question, oh, um, and then okay. I'll bring on Richard. And this is a tough question. So now okay. that, now that um, now for all the really hard, for the really hard question, okay, so people – understand and people understand it's on their mind like we have put money in other companies before this is a hard-earned money what safeguards do we have placed on Nui and Mintage Mind to make sure that we don't get hurt it's actually not a hard question at all this one we had to reformulate because of what happened Jones Day sat there and set it up our structure so that no matter what happens everyone will continually get paid and not get hurt very simple. Nui has zero ownership in Mintage Mining. There's a Chinese wall. Mintage Mining has zero ownership in Nui. Mintage Mining, of course, is the platform that all the service agreements for mining are on, right? You know that. So it is a, a Nevis corporation set up offshore, advised by our attorneys. Contracts are bought with crypto. Okay, you buy it with Bitcoin or Litecoin or whatever, you buy it with crypto. It, it produces, you're buying hash power, so they have results every week, and it pays weekly in crypto. So what happens, Clayton, if everything in the world goes wrong? Nui shut down, Nui gets slammed, hey, SEC, you can't do this, you can't do that. Okay, Nui, boom, done. Can they stop you from getting paid from your mining, your service agreements? Nope, they sure can. No. Now, that is not our intention. <laughs> we don't want to get shut down, okay? We don't want any of that. But it was set up specifically that if it does, not a single client gets hurt. And, and when I say a single client, guys, I am in it. My family's in it. My friends are in it. You're in it. We're all in it together. And, um, and once again, that is why we at, we're excited about the regulation that comes. So the hard question is not a hard question for us. This is how we set it up from the beginning, that uh, customers and clients will never lose. We actually scratch our heads sometimes when companies are out there saying we can't pay you because it doesn't make sense to us. How can you not be paid? We have two communist countries that for years have been trying to shut this down, and they can't shut it down, okay? China and Russia have proven that you cannot shut it down. Now, Russia, they did a flip on us. Uh, about three months ago, all of a sudden, they're like, okay, forget it. We're all in, all in on crypto. You know, our attorneys at a Jones Day in, in Moscow said, okay, we're, we're good to go, 100%. If you have a communist country that cannot shut it down, then what is going to happen to blockchain? Anyways, back to the, the question. 
you know, what will happen? Um, we've set it up 100% knowing that our customers and clients will always be taken care of. Awesome. Now, I will, I will still say this. We have no intentions of getting shut down. <laughs> That's why we spend so much money working with the law firms that we work with. <laughs> okay. Well, my, my last statement is not really a question, but what would you like to share before I bring Richard on? Um, I know, you again, you have to get to your family. What would you like to share? Anything yeah. you'd like to say to us, um, feelings about the next few weeks? I know we have a, um, a meeting coming up on the 17th, um, an open house, but I'll just let you speak for the next few minutes, whatever you'd like to say to, to, to the world. Uh, Clayton, um, and, and to everyone on this conference call, it's uh, thank you first off for the support. Uh, for those that have been with us for a long time and for those that are seeing this for their first time, we welcome you and, and say thanks. Um, no matter what your business plan, no matter what your service, no, what your, no matter what your product is, it always comes down to people. That's what it always comes down to. And there is one thing, going back to the go-giver, going back to the cuckoo and aloha spirit that we have as a company, it always comes down to people, which is why we've been transparent through our wins and our losses. There are ups, there's downs. That's life, that's business. The one thing that I would like to close on, Clayton, is this, is um, I've been in so many businesses and so many deals where I've had things go south. And I scratch my head and go, man, you know, I didn't see that coming, blah, blah, blah. What I can look, look everyone on this, you know, look you guys in the eye and tell you is um, I have to answer to you. Um, if things go south, I take the blame. Me, my partners, Richard Troy, executives, we own up, we fess up, we take the blame. Now, I say that with serious accountability because I had a business – um, five years, six, seven, what a years ago, where Richard Troy and I lost $70 million was embezzled, okay? And it hurt. It really, really hurt. Um, as a CEO, my job is to be accountable to every single customer, every single client, every single member of this company. And that's where I stand. It's a great weight. But if I have the intent, and that's what I've been on this conference call saying, my purpose, my passion is to help a million people make $500 a month. That's my intent. That's my purpose. And that is what I get up after every knockdown. That's the one thing I promise you. I get up every single time and I am excited about the mission, the movement, the purpose of what NUI stands for. So Clayton, I thank you, brother. First off, I thank you for, for believing in us and partnering with us. And for all of those uh, on this conference call and those that see this later, uh, thank you. That's all I got to say is thank you, and, and it's going to be fun. It's okay. going to be fun times. Well, awesome. Thank you, Darren. Go enjoy your family. I appreciate it. I'm going to bring Richard on, okay. ask a couple questions. Richard, you have an amazing day, and I'll see you on the 17th. Okay. See thank you, brother. You. Okay. Thanks. Okay, everyone. Well, you heard it. You heard it yourselves from, um, from Darren. I mean, uh, I, I hope you saw the passion. I hope you saw what he believes in. I hope you feel it. I hope you understand how big this is. Now let me move over to co-founder Richard. I have to, Richard, if you can request yourself, that will be really great because there are so many comments. It's going to be hard for me to find you. That will be greatly appreciated. Um, and I'd like you to pop on and, and mer or say a few things. Uh, let's see here if I can get him on. I can't find him. There's so many comments on here. So, so proud of you guys uh, making all the comments you have. I'm trying to find Richard. Uh, let's see here. Richard, I, if you can request yourself, that'll be greatly appreciated. I've seen your, oh, he's saying hello. Let's see, I can't find him yet. You guys, bear with me. Technology, technology. I'm going to get it done. Richard, if you're hearing me, if you can request yourself so I can put you on screen, that'll be greatly appreciated. Sorry for this little pause here, you guys. Can't find Richard yet. Yep, there's the request. I love it. Okay. Approved. Okay. Richard should be coming on. He's adding here shortly. Richard Smith, co-founder of Nui. So glad that you're on here. Thank you for doing this on the Saturday Force. I really do appreciate it. I know you've heard Darren speak. And um, I'm just going to start off with the obvious question. Who's Richard Smith? 
Richard Smith's an entrepreneur that believes in people. I, uh, I've invented a lot of different things and participated in a lot of different businesses, but uh, I love making other people money. I live by four or three, well, four key principles. Number one, I'm all about family. I have eight sons, seven of them are biological, and one foster son. I also um, have a wonderful wife that uh, takes care of those seven boys. In fact, we continue, to, we continue to try to have a daughter, and that's how we ended up with seven sons. Um, principle number one that I live my life by is find out where the world's going and get there first. Amen. Um, Darren was very eloquent on all the faces and, and nuances with cryptocurrency and the blockchain technology. I will tell you this. If I were to rank the world's inventions, um, running water, um, overall electricity, and the Internet, and, of course, when Steve Jobs walked out with the iPhone, those are all very, very game-changing innovations that change the world. This blockchain technology belongs up there with all of those. In fact, it probably falls somewhere between the internet and electricity. And if you want to know my honest opinion, it probably moves more towards electricity. And we are harnessing the power of individuals to make this blockchain something that will change the world one person at a time. Principle number two, I, I really believe in making more money than you spend. Um, my wife and I made a deal with each other. When we were first married, I said, you spend the money, I'll make the money. She's a lot better at her job than I am at mine. And last but not least, and this is a big thing, is find a mentor. And the one thing that I can say is Darren is a huge mentor of mine. I uh, love functioning with Darren his contacts, his, his thought process. He literally is a wonderful CEO. He didn't want the position. When we sat down as founders and talked, um, Troy, Troy's the one that brought it up and said, Darren, we'd like you to be our CEO. And he's like, nope, I'm not going to be it. I don't want to put that time into it. And we basically really forced him to do it. And he's a wonderful one. And the reason he's so good he knows that he doesn't know everything. He surrounds himself with powerful, powerful executives. Um, our president, Reed Tanaka, um, Kenzie, oh my heavens. These people know and are passionate about making Nui a success for the individual. Darren talks about Kakua, and that's a Hawaiian term. When we named our company Nui, all I knew was Puka Nui, which is big belly. And I'm like, what? Why are we? But now that I understand the spirit in which we're doing this with, I love the spirit of Nui. We're going to make the individual great, not just a company. We want to make you great. And if you don't have to worry about money, you're going to do some great things in your life. Some of the stinking thinking, and this is why go giver is so important. Some of the stinking thinking in our life is we've been taught that money is the root of all evil. Bull crap. Money makes you more of what you already are. Clay is an unbelievable great man. Money makes him more of that. And everybody on this call or on this hangout, you literally are going to become more of what you already are. There are people on here that's going to do some amazing things if they don't have to worry about money. That's Richard Smith. Richard, very, very well said. I thank you very much. In fact, what I'd like to do is, um, I know um, Darren pretty much went through all the, all the answers and you've, you've co-signed everything you said, so I just want to know a little bit about who you are. I would like to close the meeting with just showing one thing, if that's okay. I'm going to walk over in my office to let everyone know how much I am bought into this. And right here is something I look at every day on my wall, and it talks about the million people earning I know it's backwards now because I'm showing my camera, but I really want to thank you, Richard, for everything that you do. Thank you for, for being part of this amazing, amazing company. I know you work so hard tirelessly every day. What a great job you're doing. I want to thank you very, very much. Thank you. Okay, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.